is up guys it has been a while i know like three weeks since i posted my very first video here on youtube now for those of you who are watching for the first time my name is diego and welcome to my youtube channel now the reason why you're watching this video is one you my friend two you're probably my family who is ever so supportive of me venturing into youtube thank you i love you guys and third, the reason why you're watching this video is because I entitled this video, I CHANGED MY NAME! That was weird, that was totally weird. But anyway, yes, I changed my YouTube channel name. It's now called... Untold Icarus. Now I'll be explaining to you guys why I chose that name. And... Before I go into it, I want to give a shout out to Ian and thanking her for giving me the name Untold Icarus. Guys, she's an amazing illustrator by profession. I'll leave her links down below. Check her out. She's an amazing, amazing artist. So, let's get right to it. The reason why I chose Untold Icarus. Well, Icarus. I, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Icarus, but the thing is, majority of the people who know about Icarus is just the guy who flew too close to the sun. But there's more to that. And I want to expound on that. I want to change that notion, that mindset, that Icarus was just the guy who flew too close to the sun, that he was too arrogant, that he was too ambitious, that he disobeyed his father and eventually died. I will. I will tell the story. So sit your ass down and listen. Listen. Mm. I have no idea why I did that. Anyway, quick mythology lesson. Daedalus was the father of Icarus. Now Daedalus was a famous inventor slash architect in Athens. But because of his human nature, he was very egotistical and jealous of his nephew, who was also getting as much praise as him. So, what did Daedalus do? He killed him. Yeah, he did. Pushed him off the edge and, as punishment, he was sent to Crete. So we all know that Poseidon is the god of the sea, but I also believe that he is a stupid kind of god. But anyway, Poseidon is the god of the sea who cursed Pasiphae to fall madly in love with a bull. Now Daedalus, as a free man, was approached by Pasiphae and she said, I want you to construct a hollow wooden cow so that I can fit into the cow and flirt with the bull. And you know what happens next. That was how the creature known as the Minotaur was created. Half man, half bull. So King Minos, enraged by the deeds of his wife, asked Daedalus to create the labyrinth as a prison for his son, the Minotaur. And this is where, you know, Perseus enters the story and eventually figures out how to kill the Minotaur. But that's that's for another time, okay? We're talking about Icarus. So he was imprisoned. Daedalus and Icarus were imprisoned in the tallest tower of Crete. So they had nothing but candles, bird feathers, and Daedalus's amazing mind. Daedalus created wings for him and his son and planned to fly, fly across Crete and land on another country. Now this is the part where people tend to overlook an important detail in the warning of Daedalus to Icarus. Daedalus said, don't fly too close to the sun, for the sun will melt the wax and your feathers will come loose. Or, do not fly too low, for the waves will dampen your feathers and you will surely die. Now the reason why I chose Icarus was not because of his disobedience, because of his arrogance, but because of his ambition, that it is because of him we know how close we can get. That in anything you do, as long as you try hard enough, as long as you keep at it, you will succeed. That's why I chose Icarus. That's why he is such an inspiration for me. It is because of him that I never give up. That I keep trying to be better. That I keep trying to grow as a person. To grow in my craft. To grow 
in acting, to grow in video editing, in, to grow in shooting, growing in my relationships. The reason why I chose Untold was because I want to share things that people don't really know. I want to include in my vlog, in my stories, what I think people should hear because I want to inspire. I want, I want to encourage. I want to nurture people. I want them to grow. That is why I'm here. So that is it for my video. I am so glad you guys watched till the end. I hope you learned something and I got way too invested in telling that story. Now, I want to invite you guys to actually comment down below and share with me your stories of starting something new, starting uh, something you've been afraid of, something that you want to try out. I want to know your stories. I want this to be uh, a safe zone where you can actually speak up and speak your mind. And if you don't want to do that in the comments, that's okay. You can actually message me online on my social media accounts. That's fine. Let me know what you guys think. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, dislike, don't dislike, don't dislike, like it. Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode.